Hello everyone, I am Mr. Choose. Yes, I am actually making a video. Treyarch decided to upload a new inside teaser to the new Firebase C Zombies map coming on Thursday and I thought I'd go through it, pick out any of the major things I find and I'll show you. Well the first thing I want to point out is that Craig says we'll be exploring the character of Samantha Maxis. Now, originally I thought we would be seeing her in the map and maybe be able to interact with her, but it seems that won't be the case considering we can see Revanov, her partner in the KGB, you would say, and I doubt Samantha is just going to be a few meters away from him in the same map if we're trying to save her because he could have easily done it by himself. The next thing Craig says is that this new world only exists because of what happened before. He's probably just saying this because most people believe that what the premise crew did and their sacrifice doesn't mean anything because the zombies still came back. Well, this is what Craig's way of saying that this world still needed their sacrifice in order to exist, really. Next, we see a shot where Revanov is staying and will probably be interacting with. In the previous trailer, we saw Revanov say, Welcome to Vietnam. This is probably where the player can walk up to him and uh, probably interact with him throughout the easter egg. We also see the pack punch machine sitting next to him. I'm not sure how it will be powered. I don't know if it's going to be the same power mechanic in the other side of the map. So we're just going to have to wait and see about that. In the next shot we see this computer room with our trusty juggernaut machine. Uh, looking like it's all powered up. As far as I'm aware, there's no little generator box next to it, so I'm not sure how it's powered, if we have to do the main power, or if it's just always powered up, just like in D-Machine. Now we're seeing a few more shots of the area of the map that is taken from the campaign Mission Fracture Jaw, uh, looking very zombified. This is the same area as the Pack Punch and Revanov. Now we see what we assume will be the power room with something called the control unit which looks like we're going to have to charge up with zombie souls. I'm guessing this is going to be the power from the previous trailer we saw that this machine does like a massive electromagnetic blast which I'm guessing charges these generators around the map. That's how the base gets power. So in the previous trailer we never saw any dogs or build the dog ram so we had no idea what we were going to get. In this map we seem it seems like we're going to get some sort of assault wave where we're just going to have an onslaught of a bunch of enemies probably some mini bosses like the mangler and it probably seems we're going to have to protect these things called the fire control units. I'm not sure what kind of reward we'll get from these if it's just a max ammo or maybe a perk but it seems to be a step up from the normal play counts. In the same shot, we see the player go up to the crafting table where we see our new score streaks, such as the artillery and the napalm strike. Uh, and it looks like the artillery will be 100 heavy salvage and the napalm will be 500. Following this, we seem to get some info on the new mega boss or mini boss that we'll be getting. And he seems to be turning into items like heavy salvage or just salvage and maybe drops. Uh, originally from the blueprint we saw we were just gonna he was just gonna turn into like I don't know a box or something just lying around the map but it seems like he's gonna be something much more visible and that we'll be able to spot out now I am looking forward to this map it has so many great elements that are being included from the machine and from Cold War in general this is a really nice game that they have made now I know that we haven't had many maps with Cold War, but at least they got the base game working and fun. Because that's the main part. You can always add more maps to it as long as the base game is fun. Quality over quantity. This seems to sum up all the big points I was able to spot out from this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I can't wait to play this map on Thursday. I think it's going to be amazing and uh, yeah. I'll see you later.